Well, it's time again for the closing thought of the week. And I've told you before, this segment is about sharing with you interesting things I've learned along the way of a week of doing research about Haverford Township, talking to residents, uh, just getting out there and learning what's going on. And, I, you know, I raised a question. I, you know, listen, we all know the answer to the question, but I raised it last week. Why are people afraid to speak out openly in Haverford Township? Well, because people get mad sometimes when you speak out openly and, and that you're talking about things that they'd prefer you didn't talk about. And so I did speak out last week and uh, I raised some questions based on the fact that people approached me and asked me to ask those questions because they were afraid to ask them openly and honestly themselves. They were okay, you know, getting the answers, but they weren't ready to step up and be held accountable for that. And there's a reason for that. So I'm the target now because I'm the mouthpiece. So I raised those questions. I raised those concerns on behalf of con concerned residents. I have no skin in the game, guys. I am really just invested in this township at this point. I live here. I've lived here for over 20 years. I want this to be a happy, healthy place. I'm a psychologist. I believe in open, honest, transparent communication because I've seen over and over again how that creates health and growth and well-being. And I've seen the opposite, that when people close down, compartmentalize, keep secrets, uh, not share openly and honestly what's going on, things get distorted. They fester. They turn negative. They turn ugly. And they get dysfunctional, literally. So that's what this show is all about. That's what everything I'm doing over this next year is all about, is investing in my community because people have asked me to. Uh, I resisted actually, and I stepped up because people asked me to, and they wanted me to do this. I have a certain set of skills, and I'm using that set of skills, and uh, I'm happy to do it. I really am, even though there are consequences. So why are people afraid? Because when you speak out, people may lash back because they don't like what you're saying, and that's happening right now. Look, I'm getting threatening letters that I'm going to be sued, and I need to retract everything I said last week, and I'm an evil, horrible person who's trying to destroy people's uh, livelihood. I don't know, guys. You watched the video. You shared it a lot. Uh, you commented. You sent me private communications. Uh, and basically, I think you watched the same video that I created, and I've watched a dozen times afterwards just to make sure. Apparently, other people didn't quite watch it as carefully, and they think they're hearing things in there that I promise you are not in there. Uh, and that's okay. That happens. People, that, that is the dysfunction part. That's what happens when people are not openly and honestly communicating. And with enough time of open and honest communication, you're going to see that health improves. And I'm willing to ride out the storm to do that. So I want to invite you to fight against the culture of fear and secrecy. And uh, if this is the best we can do right now is that you're willing to share with me so that I can share back on your behalf and, and that uh, we, we don't name names and we don't uh, you know point fingers, it's okay. I'm happy to do that for now. But I need you ultimately to understand that you can step up, you can speak openly. This is your town. We are talking about things that are about your health, your livelihood, your property values, your elected officials, and the people who are supposed to protect and serve you. And we need to hold those people accountable, not in a negative way, just with open, honest communication, with you know, tapping each other on the shoulder and say, hey, you know, what's this about? What's going on? Hey, have you thought about this? Hey, I see there's a problem here. How are we going to resolve it together? You know, how can we work together to clean up a problem rather than cover it up, fight about it, uh, you know, get into secrecy about it, slap gag orders on each other? That doesn't help. That doesn't solve problems. And these are, these are conversations about solving problems. So I urge you to continue speaking. Don't be afraid just because people threaten you. Uh, threats come from fear. And the fear is going to get exposed as being unfounded. People are fearing what they think is happening, and it isn't happening. And I understand that. I've dealt with it my entire career. And that's OK, because I know what comes next. What comes next is learning that we can trust each other, learning that we have each other's best interests at heart, learning that what we want is businesses to thrive. What we want is prop property values to rise. What we want is to clean up the dirt that's in the ground around us so that we can live happy, healthy lives together. We're all actually in it together, even if one person's making a profit on it and the other person is actually going to benefit in the long run because their property value goes up. But that only happens if we do it right. 
if we fix problems that need to be fixed. That's what's going on here, guys. There's nothing else going on. There's no other agenda. It's let's learn how to speak openly, honestly, clearly, transparently, because there's a collective good here. We all live here in Haverford Township, micro local here in the seventh ward. What happens on our neighbor's property affects us. So of course we care, we have feelings about it. If we don't speak openly and honestly, it will fester. We will get unhealthy, we will get dysfunctional. We're already kind of dysfunctional in a whole bunch of pockets here. Let's change that. Now, it starts with you and you've already started. Listen, watch the Person of the Week segment and you will see what I'm talking about. It's happening already, just in a short amount of time. You're engaging, you're talking, you're sharing. There's gonna be pushback because people think something else is happening here because they ha there hasn't been enough time to see what's actually going to unfold if we continue this experiment, if we continue talking, if we continue realizing we're all literally in the same boat. Ultimately, we're all on this little rock in space that's spinning around, tra traveling through the universe, and we're all on one boat. What each of us does impacts our neighbors, and we have to work cooperatively in the end. We've got a long way to go. I'm an idealist, but that's what this is about. This is about open, honest, transparent communication because it leads to a healthier life.